Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful summer day. Today I am here with the update to my pan and every palette project. This palette was created, I'm not, I'm not, okay, not this palette, this project was created by Kooky Pans on Instagram. I will, of course, have her linked in the description box as always. And my goal with this project is, just as the name suggests, to get pan in all of my palettes. And if you've been following along so far, you will know that I have been, been focusing on my oldest palettes first. So let's get right into my update. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to tell you what I'm drinking today. I have had so much caffeine already and I think that's why my brain is like zoom. So I decided not to drink any more tea. Right before this, I had a big venti matcha latte from Starbucks, hence the intense caffeine surge. I cannot drink those slowly. I think that's one of the few things I don't sip. Like I just chug those. <laughs> So anyway, right now I'm drinking a Waterloo. I think I've mentioned these before on my channel. We get them at uh, Target and, <laughs> and I really like this peach flavor. But no sugar, no caffeine or anything. It's just a flavored sparkling water. Okay, now getting into my update. So I've been focusing on my Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. I'm gonna put a put, I'm gonna put a put. Holy moly, I'm going to put a picture up here showing you how it looked when I first put it in the project. This is one of my older palettes. So I have used these shades before, they were not new. And my focus shade was the shade Maremi there in the middle. And before I put it in the project, I had already used it 16 times. And it took only 13 more times to hit pan on that shade. So a total of 29 uses to hit pan on that shade. These metallics are really intense. Like I needed hardly any <laughs> to accomplish what I wanted with these. And I feel like lately I've been moving away from the extremely intense metallic looks. So I needed even less of this than I would have in the past. But I do still really like that shade. I still haven't decided. I think I might at some point depot these. I just keep the shades that I want. But I'm also kind of attached to the packaging. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do that. But anyway, for now it will be staying whole in its packaging. But that is another palette with pan in it. So I get to move on from this one. My other focus palette palette was my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. I will, of course, again, put the picture up. I've been focusing on the shade Lovely Bunch, which had very little use. I probably only used it a couple times before I put it in the project. And this is how it is looking now. Ooh, I don't know if you can even see. I might have to take a picture and put it up so you can see. There's definitely more of a disturbance going on on the top. It is more of a powdery shadow. You can see the kick up in the pan. However, it's a ColourPop matte. It's tightly pressed. It's going to take me a really long time to hit pan on it, but I intentionally chose a matte from this palette just because I'm working on shimmers already in other projects, and I know I already love these. Like, it wouldn't take me long to hit pan on those, and I really wanted to work on a matte, so. And this one's working well because I can put it with almost any look that I am doing. Like for instance, today I'm wearing it in my crease and it goes really good with this rose gold shade that I'm wearing. Speaking of, in case you're wondering, the shade that I'm wearing on my lid is this one from JD Glow. This is the shade Moscato. So pretty, but that is how that shade looks after 20 uses. So yeah, this one will be another long haul matte to work on. I just finished <laughs> working on a couple of mattes that took me quite some time to hit pan on, but that's okay. I do really enjoy this shade. My next oldest palette, now that I have hit pan in the Juvia's Place palette, would be my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad. And I've already started working on it. And I've decided that I want to start working on the shade labeled crease here. It's not really a shade that I would put in the crease personally. That's more of like an outer corner shade for me. And I am wearing it on my outer corner today. I don't know if it's really showing up very well. I tried to pat it on over that Moscato shade. If it is doing anything, it's pretty subtle, I think. <laughs> but I've never hit pan in a wet and wild shadow. So I'm not sure how long that will take me. Oh man, I just broke it. <laughs> The packaging is breaking as I'm holding it here. I'll better hold it like this instead. The lid almost came right off. You can see I just started there in the middle of that shade. I like this palette quite a bit. I think it actually has really nice uh, quality and I see that they recently have redone this. Now it's not a quad, it's a quint. <laughs> it's a five pan palette. I was tempted to pick up the new one, but I was like, no, no, I'll just enjoy this one for now. So that's where I am with this project. I'm really happy that I had another pan and I could move on to another palette. I am not sure when my next update will be. Hopefully it'll just be at the same time next month, but spoiler alert, I'm considering once I'm done with my battleship project, which I think a couple months will probably be done. I'm thinking of merging my pan and every palette into the new eyeshadow panning project that I'm planning. I'm thinking I might do pan those eyeshadows. <gasps> 
<laughs> but if I do decide to do that, I'll be merging my Pen and Every Palette series into that project. But for now, this will stay its own little project. And thank you guys so much for following along and watching these videos. I really appreciate your support very much on my channel. And thank you just so much for having fun with me as I do my little geek out over pretty shimmers and blendy mats. I really appreciate you guys just hanging out with me and sharing all your thoughts in the comments. But that's it for this little update. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.